Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the How farm fires are counted? The news is related to how the farm fires are counted at the bulletin that has been made by Indian Agriculture Research Institute. How the bulletin has been prepared? This is what the news is about. Okay, first we will look into how the news is related to examination. Under prelims, it is related to economic and social development. Similarly, under mains, it is related to GS Paper 3, agriculture under a subtopic called major crops cropping pattern in various parts of the country. Okay, let's move on to the further analysis of the news. See, the farm fires is the farm fire season is now going to close. Across six states, there were total incident of 55,725 incidents of farm fires. Out of this, 36,323 farm fires has taken place in Punjab itself. And this state is the as holds the record of having the single day spike of 3,230. So how this kind of data has been calculated? So this is what the analysis is about. Okay, first we will look into who collects this data. IA, uh, Indian Agriculture Research Institute's uh, uh, consortium called Consortium for Research on Agro Ecosystem Monitoring and Modeling from Space, shortly called as Cream, Creams. They will be putting the bulletin daily with, in relation to the farm fires that is happening in the region. So the creams was set up in 2013. Its initial mandate was to monitor the cropping condition across the region. But during 2018, when Union government has launched a central sector scheme called, called Crop Residue Management, an additional task of monitoring the farm fires was also given to the creams. So they are responsible for collecting the data. Okay, how the data has been collected is, see, there are three sensors which is about to the NASA satellites. The one sensor called as VIRS, which is in Sumoni NPP satellite and the second one is called as MODIS and it is about in Terra and Aqua satellites. And they are responsible for collecting the data in relation to the farm fires. See, each satellite, each of the three satellites will be revolving twice or the geography of India every two hours. For example, Terra passes around 10 to 30 as well as Aqua passes between 12, uh, 1230 to 130 and then Xiaomi passes around 130 to 330 and they repeat this rotation after 12 hours so that every 24 hours they will be rotating our, uh, our Indian landscape by two times. So these stat, uh, satellites will be scanning the region and that is from Indian Ocean to Ladakh. They will be scanning with the, so this scanning will happen within 13 to 15 minutes time period. So for the past five years, this uh, data, the data from this sensors has only been utilized by cream. So this is how the data has been collected. So what are, uh, what are the monitoring protocols? See. The data has been collected from the uh, satellite by IARI through its own ground station as well as national remote sen sensing centers and the farm fires are monitoring uh, and one important thing is the farm fires incidents will be monitored all over the year that is for 365 days not only during the, the winter season but the farm fires hits the news only during the winter season because of the the pollution that it creates in the NCR region. So prior to 2021, the monitoring protocol was different across the state. But the Commission for Air Quality Management during 2021 has, has made an effort to form the common protocol to, in terms of monitoring the farm fires. So the, uh, which in turn led to a common protocol for the farm fire monitoring. Okay, how the, so the, uh, the fires has been happening. In the fires, how the uh, paddy fires have been identified because the fires will be created by not only by the paddy field, but also by the industries, 
and other domestic activities but how the data have been uh, drilled into to look into how the uh, to look into the paddy fires is see paddy has different reflectance reflectance signature that is the light reflected by the surfaces and the paddy has the background of waters so that which it uh, which separates the which is which uh, which makes it separate from the other sources of pollution so this is and for active fires that the, this is how the paddy field has been identified okay how the active fires if the uh, form the fire has been happening means how the fires has been calculated the satellite provides the la land surface temperature based on the temperature only the area where the the fire has been happening has been identified and based upon the reflectance reflectance signature only whether this fire has been happening because of the farm fire or the fire that has been happening in the paddy field is been identified and uh, this threshold if the data the land surface temperature is is going to breach beyond the for certain threshold means then it is it means that there is some fire along with it fire intensity is also measured see the the if if the fire is happening in an area means there will be different areas have it will be having different intensity of fire or some places will be having low amount of fire some places will be having high amount of fire so this intensities need to be calculated so that the policy action could be reoriented in a way that the highly intensive form fire areas will be first mitigated as well as monitored they will be prioritized so for that reason only this fire intensities is also been measured along with the farm fire incidents okay what happens once the bulletin has been prepared once the bulletin has been prepared by the organization greens it has been it will be sent to the caqm ministry of agriculture then the state governments in the uh, ncr regions and it will be helping the authorities as i said to formulate policies to mitigate the areas which has high intensity of farm fires so that the uh, gover uh, the governance machinery will be reoriented will reorient its action according to the data that has been provided by the consortium what are the limitations in the data see as we have said only three sensors have been used so which is very less three sensors that is fitted to the satellites has been used which is very less so this less amount of satellite as a chances of providing data which may be of inaccurate secondly the climatic conditions also influence the readings that has been recorded by the sensors so these are all the limitations that is made, uh, that are uh, limitations these are all the limitations in data that has been made by the remote sensing devices so what need to be studied further is we should be aware of caqms its structure function as well as mandate and what is air quality index as well as what is air act water act and also what is the graded response action plan is about so these are all the other areas which we need to be further aware of and with this we have reached the end of this topic